Mohammed proposing. Ha! I was disgusted. I'm never going to lie. I said, huh? Why are you proposing? She has it with you. Around the neighborhood, feeling blessed. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tony Ariliba. If this is your first time seeing my beautiful face, be sure to subscribe and come back every Friday to watch a review of SGIT season 7. Guys, SGIT is back! Okay, quick story. I was at church when I received a notification. I saw SGIT season 7 intro. I said, huh? What's going on? Like, I was so close to screaming. But yeah, SGIT is back, guys. I'm super excited. I've been watching SGIT for as long as, you know, six, seven years ago, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm very happy. So quick recap a review of season seven episode one episode one started with the naming ceremony of tiwa's beautiful baby a bouncing baby boy his name is ayomi today we also see the part where tiwa and me they were you know having a bet where they were like Wally was going to come and you guys know for sure like i had that back on my mind like he's probably not going to come he hasn't come by this time we have another pastor but yo he showed himself, as he said, I'm the prophet of the husband, the mother, the baby, you know, and so be it like that. We also see the part where Mama Tiwa was talking about how she had 13 names for this baby. You guys, guys, how many names can you really bear? You have just literally three names highest on your birth certificate and this child has 13 names. This is excluding the ones that his parents have given him Shaliba also named her nephew she named him Nifemi she, she explained that she you know was born out of she wants the child to be loved which is very beautiful a very beautiful name I must say another interesting part that happened was that Mohammed came for the naming ceremony I was surprised I was like what are you doing here I'm sorry like because obviously after him we've had the Kwame um episode so i thought like he was going to be 18 of the past maybe not necessarily but you are sure for important events like that so when you know that somebody has like issues with you but you know shalewa avoided him we see the next episode where sorry the next scene where she goes to visit a therapist i was actually very happy because to be fair 80% of we Nigerians probably need a therapist and we don't know about it so you know I feel like it was a good move seeing a therapist was probably needed so she was also able to speak to a therapist and talk about how she probably still misses Mohammed and that she thinks it's because he's a familiar love and I totally agree because someone sent me this and I'll read for you. Sometimes we hold on because the relationship has become our comfort zone, our familiar routine, our stability, and so the thought of starting over is incredibly daunting. We choose to stay in the unhappiness of the known because we are so afraid of jumping into the unknown. I'd say the reason that Shalewa was definitely missing Mohammed was because, you know, you're used to this person, like you're used to calling this person you're used to you know having this person in your life so you just she she's probably scared of starting over and to be fair sometimes we shouldn't because i'm of the opinion that if it's going to work it's going to work so you know sometimes that break is needed she also started um, blaming herself you know when you when you have issues like this i think the therapist called it post-traumatic disorder or something like that obviously kwame um had the violence part then mohammed had the infidelity part so you start believing that you were the problem which is not supposed to be you know sometimes you're so clouded by all the things that happen that you just agree and accept i'm the problem you know so that peace happens and it shouldn't be to be fair we also come to the scene where you know daddy baby was praying his lover dollars yo uh -uh. As in, it was like one dollar. How did he say it? You know, one bundle for. <laughs> I don't remember how it was said, but one bundle for you know. How did he say this thing? Okay, one bundle for carrying my child. 
one bundle for something something you know it was just really beautiful i also liked that it wasn't just him that was gifting i liked the way she said the student has become the master she also gifted him which was very beautiful oh man i mean if gifting is your love language you understand why it moved me but yeah <laughs> so i like when gifting is mutual let's not be that one person you want gifting 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 you know you might not necessarily as she said she's not like she has money as much as it does but you know efforts count a whole lot another interesting thing that happened mama Tua has become an influencer <laughs> Yo, she calls Shaliwa and says, ah, come and read this tale, what's this? And she goes, mommy, you have an influencing gig. But yes, the influencing was for waist trainer and bleaching cream. I'm just like, huh? And the money was 5 million naira. She was, it was entry and she's like, Shaliwa, can we tell them that we do the waist trainer and they should take their bleaching, you know? Yeah, that was nice. Well, back to Shaliwa. There was a scene where Shalewa was at the supermarket and someone mistakenly hit her. Oh my god, it brought back PTSD. It literally felt like Mohammed. Like it felt like she was seeing Mohammed in this person, which was very scary. Which really which to me really meant that she needed to heal before she enters any form or sort of relationship for the next if I'm like if I'm not being dramatic, at least for the next six months one year like you have to heal when you when you encounter things like this you don't you cannot say you're jumping again so you have to like take time it's good that she's already seen a therapist heal completely 100 percent mohammed kept trying to reach out to Shale, but he would always call his calls were even annoying me why are you calling her so much can you let her breathe ah jesus lord i know it's not easy i'm not being a hater or anything it's just that it was becoming annoying like can you can you call her some slack stop calling her another part i liked was where you know Mide was doing daddy duties you know i'm sorry but i liked how to just come and take your son i'll come and change this diaper please you are the one by the both of us that carry this child <laughs> so yes i like where she i think she already has a tactic as she came to give her husband i like how he changed the diaper nicely you know and tiwa reminded him that it's been five weeks i think five weeks or six weeks thereabouts before they could engage in you know what lovers do and Mide was so over the moon he was so excited that he was ready to not go to work because of love <laughs> and you could see where even at his workplace he was just you know what's the time 12 o'clock he was already you know ah, ah. i was like calm down sir calm down it's not she's not running away okay she also did his back and she also is trying to come and stop Mide from his excitement to go and visit his wife but he wasn't having it. We are looking at episode 2. What do you think is going to happen in episode 2? Episode 1 ended with Mohammed proposing. Ha! I was disgusted. I'm never going to lie. I said, like, huh? Why? 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 What is your problem? Why are you proposing? You guys haven't even had a conversation about what happened. Why are you proposing? She hasn't even healed. She has been avoiding your calls. Why in the hell world do you think that proposing is the next thing to do? Men. Honestly, I'm not, not going to start that. So I'm, I'm thinking. So now from the way I saw Shaliwa, is she going to accept this proposal? Is she not going to accept the proposal? I think that she should not accept it. However, is she, do, I, do I think she's going to accept it? Hmm. I think she might not actually. Even though she mentioned familiar love, I don't think she's going to accept it. I never know. I mean, we'll see episode 2 next week, Friday. We've come to a wrap of episode 1 review. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what you think in the comment section. What do you think is going to be Shaliwa's response to the proposal in episode 2? See you next week, Friday. Bye. Toodles. Make sure to subscribe, okay? Okay, Toy. This is the last take. Rolling one, two, three, four. Let's go! Ah, thank you Jesus. That was not as bad as I thought. Oh.